What up, though? What's cracking with all of my beautiful and my handsome Scorpios out there? I hope everyone in my Scorpio collective is doing well. All right, y'all. So I already done pulled a few cards here, so we're going to get into it and see what it is that you need to know. Now, if you find this on Resonate, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Let your girl boo I know what's going on. This is your first time viewing my channel. I want to say welcome. If you're a returning viewer, okay, if you're one of my BFLs, what it do, y'all? Okay, so, Scorpio, you can represent this revolutionist, okay? Some of you, I know, the past couple of readings, it was talking about, you know, some people have been wondering about their call and their purpose. What are they here to do? And Scorpio, you represent this champion of transformation, okay? You're a revolutionist, okay? You're someone who is for the people. You know, you're always someone who who's like a freedom fighter. Like, you, you're for the rights of people and women, and you want to make sure that people are treated equally. And, you know, never people are taken advantage of. You're someone who always goes for the underdog. You know, when you see people being mistreated or not being handled right, like, you're that person that's going to step up and say something. Scorpio, that was me. That used to be me in the workplace. I hate workplace bullies. I hate people that think they know everything and shit because I'm going to let you know a little something, okay? And I was that person that, you know, I would take up for other people. And I had to, pick, I guess, kind of pick and choose my battles when it came to that because, you know, some people just sit back and, you know, let you do the shit. And I'm like, nah, you kind of stand up and, you know, some people don't know how to take a stance for themselves and other people just let you sit back and fight their battles, you know? So you kind of got to pick and choose when it comes to those type things. But I feel like you're the person who you want to make sure that everyone is treated equally and you want justice for all, okay? This is who you are. This is, you know, you're, not, you're like that rebel. Like, can't nobody contain you. Can't nobody hold you down. Can't nobody stop you from doing whatever it is that you know that you're meant to do. Now, some of you could be a, a singer, okay? Maybe you receive a lot of messages or downloads through music. Maybe you write music, okay, you sing, but you're able to move hearts and souls, okay? You have a lot of emotion when you sing. Some of you are being called to perform. Maybe you're supposed to be collaborating with other singers or other people who also love music. I love music, you guys. Y'all know I done sung a few times or whatnot. You know, I don't know if that's a part of my call or whatever, but I mean, I do love music, you know? All right, then we got these two cards over here, okay? So we got Betrayal. So someone here has received or, or, you know, discovered some type of betrayal that was going on. This could have been some type of deceit. Someone here being disloyal. Someone here conspiring, trying to conspire against them. Or just talks about a broken bond. This could have been some cheating or, or, you know, some infidelity going on. And then you have someone that's trying to avenge some shit. Because so someone here remembering, they've been holding on to a memory from the past. Maybe they want to resolve some shit. But I also feel like they hate. You know what I'm saying? There's some hatred. And someone here is plotting something. So there's someone who's gotten betrayed. Okay? And then this same person could be this person is now wanting to avenge. Like, they ain't forgot about what this person did to them. You know, and it's like now they want, they want revenge. And this could have been a broken bond here. So let's get into this energy, y'all, because I don't know what the hell this is about. It started off good, and then, I don't know, it went sideways, okay? Some of you could be dealing with the air sign. We got Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So this could be an air sign you could be dealing with, or we also have Sagittarius, okay? So we got an air sign and Sagittarius. All right, tell us more. Then we're going to clarify as well. So let's get the energy here, and then we're going to clarify anything that needs to be clarified, Okay. All right, so what is the energy surrounding this reading? We got a revolutionist, a singer, betrayal, and avenger, okay? So we got the energy of someone that's refusing to either, they're not going anywhere, so someone could be refusing to leave your energy, or someone could be refusing to leave someone else's energy here, okay? So it's like even though someone here may have betrayed them, they broke some type of bond, like they still refuse to leave them alone. 
All right, and then we have the eights, okay? So you could be seeing lots of ones, one, 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 11, 11. It talks about some type of new beginning, opportunity, or potential. So someone here may be trying to like block maybe a new beginning or opportunity or something here with someone. All right, tell us more. Messages for my Scorpio. What type of energy is surrounding this reading? Then I got to clarify this betrayal. And this Avenger here, okay? What is the energy here? Okay, reflecting. So someone here is reflecting upon a situation, okay? This could be you. Maybe you're reflecting on your life. You're making some assessments. Maybe you need to take a step back and reassess, okay? Or someone here can be reflecting after gaining some type of knowledge. And I feel like it's this person that experienced this betrayal. Like someone here realizes that they've been betrayed by someone. But it was like, whoever betrayed them, this person refused to leave them alone. Like, how you going to betray me? How you going to cheat on me? How you going to do this to me? And then you going to refuse to leave me alone? Like, what what, what they do that at? Okay? Now, we have being influenced by other people. So someone could be being influenced. Scorpio, maybe there are some people that's trying to influence you. Like, go ahead and pursue, you know, your singing career. Go ahead and do this and go ahead and do that. Or someone could be influencing this person here. Okay? We have unstable energy. Someone here is going through a lot, okay? You're being called to stay away from this person because this is someone who's miserable, okay? And we know that misery loves company here. So this could be this person for some of y'all. Someone here could experience some type of betrayal. You know, someone broke in a bond. They cheated. They did something. It's like now this person is out there plotting to get revenge, okay? We have I am now open to love. So for some of you, this could be someone. Someone here could have been trying to like block someone having this new beginning. Because remember, this is someone that's like they deceived someone. They they cheated, they did something, but it was like they refused to leave this person alone. Like, how you gonna cheat on me? How you gonna do me wrong? But then you don't wanna leave me alone. And I feel like this person did this because they didn't want someone here to have a new beginning. Like maybe someone here saw potential in another person or they saw a better opportunity within someone else. And someone was like, uh-huh, you can't have that. Okay. And this could have been someone who was open to love. In the past, they could have been blocked. You know, their heart shock could have been blocked. Maybe this person wasn't open to giving or receiving love in the past. But it's like now they are. Ooh, and Scorpio, somebody getting some unexpected money, baby. That, that energy came up. What was that I did? The um, other cards I pulled talked about the jackpot. Okay. So someone here. Could be getting some type of unexpected money. All right, so let's look at this betrayal. I got a new deck here. Well, this ain't new, new, but you know, I don't really use it like that. So let's look at this betrayal. So y'all give me time to look at these cards and see what's going on. Because I want to see who this is, who was betrayed. Because I feel like the same person that has been betrayed is the same person who's out to get revenge, okay? And they could be out to get revenge against a third party. This is somebody they hate. They've been plotting, okay? This could have been someone who maybe hates you that's been plotting against you. Like, I don't know, but we're about to see. So, hold on. Ooh, excuse me, before I do that. Put this up, Bryce. Okay, so let's look at betrayal. Who is this person who got betrayed, Holy Spirit? Who is this person that broke a bond or they got a bond broken? Okay, four of pentacles. This could have been someone that was holding on. Yeah, this is that energy of someone that's holding on and refusing to let go, okay? For some of you, this could be a Capricorn. And maybe this person's holding on for this person, or they were holding on to a person's situation because this is someone who was supporting them financially, okay? See, in the past, this could have been someone, I feel like they experienced betrayal, but they were still holding on to this relationship. They were still holding on to this marriage. You know what I'm saying? This is someone who did not want to let go because they felt insecure like this is someone who i feel like this is a marriage okay and for some of you maybe you're a person they held on to a relationship to a, a marriage way longer okay but this is someone who was also they were dealing with someone who either was materialistic they could have been materialistic but whatever the situation was it has to do with money okay so someone here was holding on they were refusing to let go okay messages for my Scorpio. Tell us more about this betrayal. And I feel like for some of you guys, that's what the ultimate betrayal is. Like, they refuse to let go of this person in the past. But it was like, now this person wants to move around and have this new beginning. Now this person don't want to let them go. All right, tell us more about this betrayal. Three of Cups, yeah, third party situation. I can't make this up. 
This is exactly what happened for some of you guys, okay? This is someone who I feel like someone could have married your person for money, okay? Or someone who was going, they knew they was going to take care of them. Maybe they had kids, you know, they needed help or whatever. But this person, it was like, they, they dealt with a lot of betrayal from this third party. Like, the, whatever this person cheated or whatever they did to them, this wasn't their first time. Like, they, they took a lot of scores to the back. I'm getting that, that 10 of scores, okay? Some of you, a Gemini can be involved. That could be the air sign. But this is a third party. For some of you, this third party blocked this person. This is why they refused. Like, it was like this per person wanted to cheat and do their thing, you know what I'm saying? And kind of have your person on the side and kind of pick them up and fuck with them when they want to. You know, kind of how, like, our person did us. But it was like, even though they cheated on them, even though they broke this bond, even though they did this, like, they still refused to leave this person's energy, Okay. So let's look at this avenger, because I feel like for some of you, this is your person that's wanting to avenge this third party. All right, bitch, you just ain't finna do me and treat me in this type of way and think you finna get away with this shit, okay? We got Capricorn, we got Cancer. All right, so tell me about avenger, because whoever this is, they're going through a lot, and this, this reminds, I don't know. Let's look at this avenger. Messages for my Scorpios. I love you, Scorpio. Tell me about this Avenger. Who is this person? The sun, yeah. Someone here is going, Scorpio, for some of you guys, your person wants to avenge this third party. They want to get their revenge. They hate this person, okay? They've been plotting against this person because they ruined their opportunity for them to be happy here. The sun. You, Scorpio, represented this new beginning. You and this person are supposed to have this new beginning. They want to have this new beginning. Love, experience love, what real love was. And they saw potential. This third party, everybody saw potential in this shit, okay? You were this opportunity for this person to experience true joy and happiness and, and bliss. You know what I'm saying? Like, be like a kid at a carnival. Or, you know, every day, like, you are really going to allow this person's inner child to shine. You know, like with you, they can be a kid again. This is what they mad about. This is why for some of you guys, I don't know, this shit may not be looking good for a third party. Because your person is pissed that this third party, you know what I'm saying, for one, they probably mad themselves and then for allowing this third party to cause this, you know what I'm saying? And then secondly, they're like, bitch, you let, you let me miss out on my true love? Fuck with your old dusty crust ass? Okay? Hold on. Yeah, queen of cups. For some of you, they were dealing with someone who played with their feelings and emotions, okay? Scorpio, you can be an artist. Maybe you like to paint. Maybe you like to sit by the water. Or, you know, you have something about water that helps you, helps your creativity flow or something here. You got a piece of hair, y'all. Excuse me. <laughs> but I feel like this is someone, like, they were dealing with someone who was manipulating them, playing off their emotions. And this is what this third party did for a long time, y'all. I'm talking about a long time. And it's like now this person with this moon, like something was revealed, you know, to this person about whoever they was dealing with. And this is why they want revenge against this third party. For some of y'all, they're not stable. Let's look at this unstable energies. I feel like this could be your person. They're going through a lot because they realize, like, man, I let this, I let this mother, you know what I'm saying, help me or make me miss out on my true love. Tell me about this unstable energy here. You can be dealing with a what's the of cups? Pisces, Aquarius. Look at this. Ten of Cups. Yes. I can't make this up, y'all. This is why they mad. Because this third party made them miss out on their Ten of Cups. I'm telling you, you represented this new beginning to this person. They were supposed to have a new beginning in love. See, when you guys first met them, they weren't open to love. But now they were open. Now this person wants love in their life. And it's like this third party is not going to let them have this shit. And for some of you, like I said, if you wonder why you ain't been dealing with your person, why you're not in that situation, because that shit over there was not for you to be meant to be involved in, okay? That shit over there fucked up, and it's not meant for you to be involved. You do not want to be a part of this person trying to get revenge on this third party, because I'm telling you, this person got a knife, this person got a blade, like, somebody here can get hurt real bad. Nah, I ain't saying that just being funny, like, I'm being serious here, Okay? All right, y'all. So let's look at the signs. Let's see who this reading is about for Scorpio. I love you guys. If anything resonated, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. And if you're interested in a personal, my information will be in the description box below. 
Okay, let's get through these signs. Should I have to go fight for the dogs on dice? <laughs> okay, so we had air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and Sag. So we also got heavy Libra, Cancer, Pisces. Leo, Pisces, Taurus, Aries. We also have heavy Leo, Taurus, and Virgo. All right, you guys, I love you. And until next time, stay blessed.